We teach our children to stand up for themselves, and yet we fail to lead by example. Self-defense. Should Nigerians possess firearms? So, it's 350 years before Christ, Athens was under threat from the tyrant Philip of Macedon, the father of Alexander the Great. In response to this threat, the statesman Demosthenes delivered speeches considered too fierce and violent, now known as Demosthenes' Philippics, to his compatriots, asking them to fight back. History, however, has exonerated him, and he's now considered one of the greatest defenders of freedom. Mm. Nigerians face violent threats from organized non-state actors, organized non-state actors, take note, including armed bandits in the northwest, Boko Haram in the northeast, armed headsmen in the middle belt, IPOB in the southeast, militants in the south-south, thugs in the southwest, and kidnappers all over the country. According to small arms survey, there is an epidemic of small arms in Nigeria with about 6.2 million arms illegally in the possession of civilians. This is more than what the security agencies have. It is thus no wonder that a former chief of army staff and minister of defense asked people to defend themselves. In his words, if you are waiting for the government to defend you, you will die one by one. They collude. They collude. Abraham Lincoln, Albert Einstein, Nelson Mandela all agreed on the need to fight back when necessary. Even amongst the prophets, according to Niccolo Machiavelli, the armed ones were more successful. Bullies and warmongers do not leave you alone because you are law-abiding and above violence. Rather, they will run when you fight back. Fact. You will not stop them by begging for peace. The Mostinis warned the Athenians, do not wait till it's too late. Be prepared, he said. The Athenians did not heed his warning, and the Macedonians ended their democracy. In the 1940s, when Europe was falling to the tyranny of Adolf Hitler, Winston Churchill took over from a prime minister who had been trying to make peace unsuccessfully and said, I have nothing to offer but blood, toil, tears, and sweat. The examples above refer mostly to conventional warfare. While we heard the government in Nigeria severally ask for understanding from citizens as we are fighting conventional enemies. While they ask for our understanding, the government officials move with heavily armed escorts. Is it time for the government to adopt unconventional methods as well? Are we going to learn from history? Or will the quote ascribe to Hegel Frederick that history teaches us that man learns nothing from history applied to us? So I ask, with all sense of responsibility for self-defense, should Nigerians be allowed to carry licensed automatic weapons or not?